Hey Feasters, and welcome to episode 137, and today we are going to define what a niche is. Niche, niche, however you say it, we are going to get on the same page. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Welcome to the Ask Res Podcast. I'm Jason, and I'm here to help you get past those bumps in the road, those struggles, those things that hold you back from building an amazing and profitable freelance business each and every single day. On this show, I talk a lot about what a niche is. And yes, I am American, but I always say niche. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I took French in high school. I don't know, but whatever, right? I think that there's a lot of misunderstanding around the definition of a niche or what a niche is. So that's what this episode is going to clear up here. There are a lot of folks who think that a niche has to be an industry. So for example, as a web developer, he only works with lawyers or as a web designer, she only works with doctors. And because you don't want to work within those niches that you can't have one. Well, that's simply not the case. So let's define it. I define a niche as a targeted audience that you can clearly define who it is so that immediately when the person is reading your website or hearing you talk, they will immediately say whether it's them or not. Of course, if you are talking about a specific industry or location or even a piece of technology, it can help make your job easier. But that doesn't mean that you can't have a niche like professional female business owners who are based just outside the, the Boston metropolitan area. And yes, I know somebody who has that niche. The key to defining it is making it so clear that there is no question what it is. In my experience with freelancers looking to niche down, they often say things like, my niche is small business owners who use WordPress and want to grow their business and not spend their days running a website or something to that effect. And while that's great, I would challenge that that niche is not a niche since, well, WordPress is about 30% of the web and every small business wants to grow. So it's just not specific enough. It's fine to have the industry or technology as a part of the criteria when defining a niche, but it's not enough to narrow that focus. When defining your niche, it has to be about them, not about you. What I mean by that is when you start working through what your niche is, you have to think about the individual and what they are looking to achieve. What is it that they do each and every day and ultimately what they are trying to accomplish with their business and life, to be honest. This is how they are going to define themselves. So if you say something like, we help technically savvy business owners increase sales. Well, who isn't going to identify themselves as savvy? And as we both know, not everyone is technically savvy and your definition of that word is probably very different than theirs. You want to get at the heart of defining your niche by how your niche defines themselves. If you think you are specific enough in your niche, then I challenge you to even spend more time doing it because I guarantee you, you are not done. Put it into the wild for a week or two and see what people say. See the responses that you get. Are people identifying with what you say your niche is that you are actually targeting? Or are you getting more people into that bucket than you really want? If you have a question, ask Rez. That's me by leaving me a tweet at Rez on Twitter. Or go ahead and head on over to askrez.com. I'd love to be able to talk to you a little bit more and build you out a customized playlist of Ask Res episodes. Until next time, it's your time to live in the feast.